Podcast Experience. I'm your host Aurora and I hope you can find peace and relaxation here and yeah, maybe even recharge your batteries. It is February 13th, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, a day that is very, yeah, loaded, I feel, in Western world, um, it might bring up a lot of memories, it might bring up weird feelings um, when we are single, and it might bring up a lot of pressure and expectations if we find ourselves in a relationship. So I don't know where you at today or tomorrow <laughs> in which relational situation you are at the moment. But I want to speak to everybody. Um, as usual, I don't care which preferences you have um, when it comes to your choice of partner. I want to speak to your heart. Um, when you find yourself being a single and desperately looking for a partner, then I really hope that you know that you are so precious and you don't need a partner to make you feel whole and good. You need to find a way to feel good about yourself without a partner first. And it took me Years and years and years, and I might still not be there today. But this is something I learned along my journey, is that if you don't appreciate yourself, then people will not appreciate you. And secondly, people who want to love you will not know how to love you. If you don't know yourself, how can you express and really show the other person what you need and what you want and what you're made of. You need to know yourself first. So if you find yourself being sad about Valentine's Day and feeling lonely, then please know you are precious, you are needed out there, and you will find the partner that suits you. You just have to... Um, And for everybody, it's individual. But what helped me was being honest with myself. Did I do all the work needed before entering a relationship? Am I at peace with my past? To some degree, at least, did I start the work and know where I still have to clean up? Do I know that I need to make space for the person I want to have at my side. So if you are at home and going to bed at night with one pillow in your bed, well, here's the good news. <laughs> Get yourself a second pillow and create a world around you where a person actually has space. There's so many people out there following a career or being a passionate daughter or father or whatever role you're playing um, and you're craving to have a, have a partner but if you look at the time you spent playing that role how much space could you really make for your partner are you being honest with yourself there if you go out dating or can they actually sense that there's not much space, you want them in your life, but there's not enough space for them to survive in your daily life. And if you are in a relationship, I really hope you can feel appreciated and good about yourself and you can make your partner feel the same. And if you guys are into celebrating Valentine's Day, then awesome love it and enjoy it and party and spoil each other. If you find yourself in a relationship where you know your partner is totally into Valentine's Day and you are absolutely not, you hate it, it's 
just another day where you need to spend money on the other person. Well, then here's the news. <laughs> you guys have to find some common ground and he or she has to understand that it is very new to you or different to you to express your love and you don't like to express it um, in a monetary way. But also make a little effort and know that it is exciting and awesome at times to um, do something out of the norm for yourself, for your partner. And if he or she knows that you're doing that um, to make her or him happy, then, and you do it from a genuine place, of course, you're not going to resent afterwards, um, then they're going to appreciate it so much and really see that you did a big effort here. If you are the person who is totally into Valentine's Day and you are with a person who absolutely hates it, hates it, then, yeah, it is a tough place to be. But you also need to understand that this day comes with a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations. And sometimes when people um, avoid those occasions... It is because they are scared. It is because bad memories come up and they don't want them to be repeated. Um, so we can have compassion with them, people who don't like Valentine's Day if we are in a relationship with them. And maybe ask questions or maybe not and maybe just see all the thousand different ways they show us how much they love us just not on that day the way other couples do. And there's rebels out there too. There's rebels who get you flowers on every day of the year, but not on Valentine's Day because they want to do it their way and not society's way. And isn't that beautiful too? So again, let's go back to single ladies and single guys out there. If you feel very lonely today, please know that you're loved, that you're seen, that you're appreciated by so many people around you. You just got to allow them to. And you can't expect that your partner is going to fulfill every single need of yours. And you can let other people fulfill your needs already. And then your partner will roll around like the little cherry on top of the whipped cream on top of the ice cream I would love to know that you really spoil yourself today and give yourself a foot massage or a hot bath or buy yourself flowers and really celebrate yourself look back just to see how far you came maybe you've been listening to my podcast for a little while now and you started to meditate and tried out some new thought patterns and got curious about new ways to see the world and then really deeply appreciate yourself and know that you're doing great and you're doing awesome and that person will come who can reflect that about yourself that you know about yourself already, right? A lot of people who have been single for a while and then enter a relationship and that person is all over them and all excited about them and wants to love them and appreciate them and the person who wanted that relationship for so long now is finding herself in a position of, oh my God, like, do I even deserve that? Like, that person is way too good for me and what do I have to do in return so if you don't want to find yourself in a situation like that, do the work already. Know that you're worth already and make the space and the time. Um, I know it sounds very silly, but pretend to go on a date and cook for your partner and make your house beautiful, buy flowers and make like a beautiful candlelight dinner and imagine the awesome conversation you could have and Instead of, yeah, making popcorn and binge-watching Netflix, 
I mean, you can do that too as a couple, but certainly not on the first couple dates. So I really hope you don't feel lonely today because if there's nobody out there who appreciates you and respects you, I do because I knew know what I put out there is pretty challenging at times and chances are it is not the first episode you are listening to. Um, you are appreciated. You are loved. We need you out there and um, the right partner is going to come. And as I said in my Facebook live video today, maybe you are not ready yet to have a partner. Maybe you do have to do more cleanup and work on yourself. Maybe you have unrealistic expectations. Um, but maybe you're perfectly fine and maybe you can just celebrate yourself and be good with yourself. And your partner out there who's meant for you still has to clean up some stuff. And you just got to trust you that the timing is going to be right when you meet your person. It's going to be perfect and it's going to run smoothly and everything is going to unfold naturally. You got to trust the process and you got to know yourself, know what you need in a very healthy way. Don't lie to yourself and think that your manipulative ways, your distorted ways on reality are how the world rules. <laughs> Be brutally honest with yourself and see what has come has to come up to to light out of the darkness and has to be looked at and then sorted out. And when you've done the wor work, when you're all yeah, ready and happy with yourself, content with yourself, then the right partner is going to show up. And it doesn't mean that you have to be all positive and awesome every day. No, certainly not. It just means that you're being real with yourself and that you express yourself honestly and that people get to know you and see who you really are because that's when you're going to attract the person you need in your life. So from the bottom of my heart, if you love Valentine's Day, I'm wishing you a happy Valentine's Day. If you absolutely hate Valentine's Day, you probably didn't listen to my episode today. <laughs> if you did, chapeau, I respect you and I love you. Um, you were listening to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I will be out there very soon again for you. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.